right, Algebra 1, Lesson 42. This one is on solving multivariable equations. All that to say is um, equations that have many different letters in it. So, for example, here's what it says. Solve for y. That's important that you read that, per, for, that first part. Okay? So, for example, it says solve for y, and then it gives us this equation. 6y minus x plus z, and I'm going to put a line between the z, so you know it's a z, equals 4. All right? Now, here is the main part you need to focus on. Focus on, or solve for y. So, you're going to pretend like these are numbers. Yep. You're just going to move them to the other side, just like we normally do, to try to get this 6y by itself. So, I'm trying to get this by itself. So, minus x moves across, and plus z moves across. So, I'm going to put 6y equals 4, and then when I move these across, minus x becomes plus x, and plus z becomes minus z. Yep. Okay? I'm going to make that a plus. There we go. Now, we want 6 times y, and we're just answering for y. So, because this is 6 times y, we're going to get y by itself, so times 6 becomes divided by 6. So, y equals... Okay, and now the way they answer this is they go on and put uh, every, let's see how they did this. Yes. Okay, so what I want you to see is they put a 6 under every single one of these letters slash numbers. So 6, 4, 6 plus x over 6 minus z over 6. Okay, so this is kind of seen as breaking them up. Yeah. Okay, so they just took the 6 and they divided each one of them because, watch what happens. This 4, 6 reduces to what? 2 thirds. 2 thirds. Plus x over 6 minus z over 6. And let me see if that's how they final, finalize it. Yeah. So that's how they leave it. Y equals that. 2 thirds plus x over 6 minus z over 6. And that's how they leave it. Okay? Let's do a few more. Because sometimes they're going to say solve for P. Solve for Z. Okay? This next one says solve for Y. So I just put a Y right there so we'll remember. And this says 4X minus 2Y plus 2 equals Y minus 4. Okay. Now, they're wanting us to solve for y, so you want to get your y's on one side and your letters, other letters and other numbers on the other side. So, um, this minus 2y and this y, I'm going to move all on this side. So, this I'm going to move over here. So, this is y plus, instead of minus 2y, it's going to become plus 2y. Good, so I've gotten rid of my y over here. And now I'm going to move this minus 4 across the equal side here to make it a plus 4. So now this becomes 4x plus 2 plus, instead of being minus 4, it's going to be a plus 4 equals. Okay? So I've got my all my other letters and all my other numbers on one side, and then I've got my y's on the other. So this is kind of like saying I have two tigers and one tiger, which makes me have three tigers. 3y, okay, equals, we leave the rest the same, now we want to get the answer for y, so since this is y times 3 or 3 times y, we're going to take the times 3 and divide by 3, and if you remember from last time, you do each section by 3, okay, so yes. that erases this, now, can we reduce anything, no we cannot, so the final answer is y equals this as the answer, okay? Oh, I do see something. Hopefully you caught it as well. Um, this 2 thirds plus this 4 thirds, now this 4x is something different. You almost have to see this as 4x over 3 is a tiger, and then 2 thirds and 4 thirds is something else. So then we take this 2 plus this 4, this portion adds 2 plus 4, becomes 6, y equals, this portion becomes 6 over 3, 
And then that actually, um, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So the final answer becomes 4 thirds x plus 2. That is what y equals. Okay? All right, let's do, um, there, I think there's three more. So uh, this one, next one is to solve for p. I'm going to write the p at the top just to remember. Solve for p, 4p plus 2a minus 5 equals 6a plus p. And I'm just going to put a 1p just to go in and add that. Okay? Now, they want us to solve for p, so I'm going to get all my p's on one side and all my other stuff on the other. So I'm going to move this 1p over here. So I'm going to put 4p and then take this 1p becomes a negative 1p. And then everything else I'm going to move over. So we're done with that one. So this 2a plus 2a I'm going to move over. Okay, so I'm going to put my 6a down here. And then this 2a plus 2a becomes minus 2a. And then this minus 5 becomes plus 5. Okay? So then we move to that and that over, and that got rid of that. Okay? So now we do the rest. So we're going to get all our P's together. There are three P's equals. And then this um, 6A minus 2A, well, we can go on and finish out that problem. That's going to be 4A plus 5. Okay? And now, since it says 3 times P, and we want the P by itself, we're going to divide by 3. So divide by 3, divide by 3. Okay? And I believe that's going to be the final answer. Yes. Um, so P equals 4 thirds A plus 5 thirds. And that's how you would do that. All right, let's do another one. This one says solve for X. 5Y plus X. I'm going to put a 1x just to help us. Minus 2y minus 4 plus 3x equals 0. Now, this is not to confuse you because you still want to get the x's on one side and everything else goes over there. And this 0 is just worth nothing, okay? So, let's, because we're solving for x, let's go ahead and put all our x's over here and move everything else over there. So, I have a 1x and a 3x. Okay, and everything else is moving over. So 1x plus 3x equals, and then we're going to take this positive 5y, move it across, so it becomes a negative 5y. Then we're going to take this negative 2y and make it a positive 2y. Then we're going to take this negative 4 and make it a positive 4. And then you can add the 0 if you want to that's already on this side, but you don't have to, okay, because it's worth nothing. All right? Now let's do our like terms. 1x plus 3x becomes 4x equals. And then we've got, um, I've got a few other like terms. Negative 5y plus a positive 2y becomes a negative 3y. And then plus, and then I just got my 4. Now, I want to answer for x. So this is 4 times x. So we're going to divide by 4 to get rid of that. So we're going to move it across and it divides by 4. Divide by 4. As you can see, this stays the same, and then this 4 fourths just becomes 1. 1 whole. So you would get 3 fourths y plus 1, or negative 3 fourths y plus 1. So x equals that. All right? Last one. All right, here we go. So this one wants us to solve for y, and here's what it gives us. 4y plus 6x. Minus 4 equals 2. Okay? Again, we just want to get the y by itself. So let's take this plus 6x, move it across, and this minus 4, move it across. So then we get 4y equals 2. And then let's go and move these. This plus 6x becomes minus 6x. And this minus 4 becomes plus 4. Got it? Now, we're just going to take... Um, now that we've got these all over here. Now, you want to always look on both sides. Do I need to add any like terms? There's nothing to add here, but there is here. We have just a number 4 and just a number 2. So, 4 plus 2 is 8. Okay? So, 8 minus a 6x is our final answer over here. Now, remember, when we begin with like terms, 
we made just numbers like elephants and then letters and numbers, tigers, and things like that. So you got to keep remembering it like that. Okay? And now we want to get just our y by itself. So this is 4 times y. And so when I move it across the equals, it becomes this divided by 4. Okay? So then y equals that. But let's go on and simplify it. Okay? 8 over 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And then 2 minus um, this 6 fourths can reduce both by 2. 2 will go into 6 3 times, and 2 will go into 4 2 times. Okay? So, um, let's see if that's what they get. Make sure I'm correct. Yes. Okay? And that's the final answer. Okay? That is lesson 42. I'll make a quick correction. I just realized what I did. I was like, wait a minute, something doesn't seem right. Um, so I did 4 times 2, and, and then I made it 8, so I'm sorry about that. So we're going to make this 4 plus 2, which is 6. 6 minus 6x. And then when we take the 4y, we're going to divide by 4, divide by 4. See that? And so then the y equals this minus this, and then we reduce it. So, um, 2 will go into both of them. 3 halves. 3 halves. Okay? And that is the final answer on uh, 42.5. Okay? That is lesson 42.